welcome and greetings to all. I wonder, am I right? Where am I wrong? God leads us and follows us to this time and place for reflection and prayer. We will confront and confess, question and challenge. Look inside, deep inside, and offer a heart of stone to God, transforming, cleansing, and forgiving. But first, confess, confront, consider. You are invited. Good morning, God. We have gathered today to worship and praise you. As we sing your songs and listen to your words, help us to open our hearts and minds to you. We know there is much hurt in this world, and we ask you to guide us, to help us to be your agents, to help relieve this hurt. We ask this in your son's name. Son's holy name. Amen.
A reading from Ezekiel, chapter 36. For here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take you out of these countries, gather you from all over, and bring you back to your own land. I'll pour pure water over you and scrub you clean. I'll give you a new heart, put a new spirit in you. I'll remove the stone heart from your body and replace it with a heart that's God-willed, not self-willed. I'll put my spirit in you and make it possible for you to do what I tell you and live by my command. You'll once again live in the land I gave your ancestors. You'll be my people. I'll be your God. I wonder, am I right? All the sources tell me so. All of my echo chambers resound back a loud yes. Aren't I right? When did life become about being right or wrong? Are we afraid of ambiguity? Are we afraid of the variance in human life that makes things more complex than we would want to believe? We throw around liberal and conservative like slurs knowing one group is our people and the other is not. We harden our hearts to the sound of the other side. We harden our hearts to the stories of others we can't make sense of. How does that fit with my right side? Our fists clench with the anger when opposing views don't align. Our ears close to persuasion. We don't want to change, and so granite builds. Layers and layers of sediment compress, weighing us down, drooping our shoulders, our hands aching. Is this what it is to be right? There's a heart of stone that sits on my desk. It's cold, polished stone. Across the front are the words, courage. It takes courage to change our hearts of stone, our hardened postures, to be willing to expose ourselves and our broken parts, to own our wrongness, to let go of the desire to be right. Holding my heart of stone with a clenched fist, my hands aren't good for much more. We hold our hearts of stone, our ideas, our feelings of stone, those unmovable arguments of granite we want to hold with every fiber of our being. We're unwilling to be chiseled away. But with a bit of courage and humility, I can release my hold on the things that are holding me and holding me away from deep relationship, empathy, understanding, and the wealth of human experience. We are offered black and white answers to problems that are nuanced by an ever-expanding rainbow of possibilities and experience. They say there is right and wrong, but is it really so easy? And am I really so sure? Jesus offers us a path forward through the wilderness of right and wrong. You have heard it said. We have heard so much from the voices of the right and the left, the talking heads, each with an opinion to share. We have chosen sides along the way. We have chosen right and wrong. We have chosen who we want to hear. We've chosen whom to talk with and whom to ignore. You have heard it said, Jesus offers us, but I say unto you, 
a new thing, a new voice, a new spirit that God is putting within us. Jesus points away through the wilderness of noise and gripped fists and raging sides. Jesus points a new way, a third way. In the midst of the chaos, Jesus is beckoning us to seek a third way not offered by this world. Jesus is calling us to confess our rock-heartedness and face the fear of being wrong. Let go of our hearts of stone and replace them with sinew and flesh. Gentle veins pulsing with life, strong yet supple. Thriving with life opportunity, pulsing possibilities into each new encounter with each new attempt at loving the humanness of the other side. Am I right? God does not ask you to be right. God asks you to be faithful hearts, pulsing with the possibility of a new spirit in the world. As we confess and transform our hearts of stone, may it be so. Amen. There are four simple stations with which you are invited to interact. These stations are confessional as you look into your own heart and being for how your thoughts, assumptions, and attitudes are obstacles to justice. At the first station you go to, pick up a stone to carry with you as you engage all four stations of confession. When you are done, bring the stone to the middle worship center, symbolically allowing God to create new hearts where we are hardened.
please pray with me the collective confession in the book. Almighty God, we come to you today with unclean hearts, with thoughts that we often hide. We see the world around us full of people broken and damaged because of what your children do to them. Or perhaps we do not see these broken and damaged people. Or perhaps we do see them, but maybe we are the cause of their brokenness. Lord, help us. Lord, help me. Despite our shortcomings, God, despite my shortcomings, God, I thank you for being with me as I struggle to overcome my unclean heart. God's grace and God's mercy. We go knowing we will falter. And God will forgive. We go knowing we will forget. And God will remind. We go knowing we will all. And God will make right. God will lead us. The work must be done. <laughs> 